Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and uh, this week I'm guest designing for Penny Black. So let's make the third card for this week. Now, uh, today I'll be using this uh, stamp set which is just adorable. The name is Tiny Treasures and it's uh, packed with uh, cute little ornaments. So I've chosen three of them and I'm going to stamp them on this solid uh, red pattern paper using a Versamark. I plan to emboss them using my golden embossing powder. Once I have heat set the embossing powder, I'm using my scissors and I'm going to cut around them. I'm cutting exactly where the lines are and it's not that difficult since uh, it's, uh, the line is nice and uh, raised. Now you can see how nice uh, they look, they have that uh, shimmer all around and I'm using my white gel pen to add some uh, white details here and there. And while I'm doing that, just to let you know that as always you can find a full list of supplies just below the video on my YouTube channel as well as on my blog and on the Penny Plug blog since I'm guest designing there today. And here is another gorgeous uh, creative die by Penny Black. It says uh, Winter Wishes and I've uh, used my die cutting machine to die cut uh, this uh, out of uh, white cardstock. Now, just like I did on uh, yesterday's video, I'm using Versamark and I'm uh, making sure that um, the whole uh, die cut is nice and wet with Versamark and now I'm going to apply again the same uh, gold embossing powder. This will uh, tie everything up, the ornaments as well as the sentiment on my card. The card that I'm making today is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and uh, now I'm using my glue pen at the back of my die cut and I'm just adding a few dots here and there just to make sure that my uh, sentiment is going to stick uh, nicely on top of my card. The white cardstock that I have in front of me is uh, slightly smaller than a standard card and uh, I'm uh, keeping it white just because I want to have a nice contrast against the embossed, uh, the golden embossed uh, sentiment as well as uh, the white and red uh, ornaments. So just to make sure that uh, I'm sticking this uh, straight, I'm using my T ruler there. So I'm just uh, going to make sure everything is nice and straight. And as my sentiment is drying, I can work on my ornaments. What I'm going to do is to stick uh, a few foam squares at the back of the ornaments just to make sure that I'll have uh, a bit of dimension on uh, the finished card. The idea of uh, today's card is to hang those ornaments from uh, the letters that are on my card. So I have some uh, golden thread as well as a sewing needle and I'm going to add uh, the thread as if it was hanging from the letters. Now that my thread is in place, I'm using some scotch tape at the back to secure the thread. 
so it won't uh, go anywhere. And uh, once that's done, I, all I have to do is uh, to hang the ornaments. Now, to hang the ornaments, I only have to peel off the backing from uh, the foam squares and stick them down. My main panel is ready and I'm going to stick it on top of uh, this pattern paper with uh, the stripes and all the Christmas colors. The pattern paper I'm using is four and a quarter by five and a half so it has the size of a standard card. I have already created my card base out of a white cardstock and all that's left to do is stick it on top. And my card is ready. I hope you had fun and got inspired. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for another video as I am guest designing for Penny Black the whole week. Thank you all for watching.